Welcome, pool guys and gals, to the Let's Talk About Pools podcast, where your host, Lauren Broom, will take a splash into many topics in the pool industry to educate all aquatic professionals. Listen in, and you just might be surprised what you'll learn. So let's jump right in. Welcome to the Let's Talk About Pools podcast. We're going to jump in right here. I got to speak with Rob Stewart. Awesome, friendly conversation to highlight who he is, let you guys get to know him a little bit more personably. He is a CPO instructor. He owns his own pool company for many years in Ontario, Canada. He teaches at a lot of our pool conferences, like the International Pool Conference, the Northeast Pool and Spa Association, Atlantic City Pool Show. He and I meet up at the conferences. We're good friends. We talk all the time. But I wanted you guys to get to know him. Big, big reason. He was nominated for yet another award, Trainer of the Year for Pool Nation Awards. So I want you to get to know him before you decide who you're going to vote for. And then go to the poolnationawards.com website. Read about Rob and his nomination and all the other trainers in the category at poolnationawards.com. There's also awesome pool professionals, pool pros and pool companies and vendors and all kinds of categories at poolnationawards.com. Please check them out. I love this group of people. The Pool Nation is a nation of pool people and it's built by people from our pool pros from our industry. And they bring us together instead of breaking us apart, bring us together for education and providing great hands-on education, great courses. They're offering for the first time a Pool Nation conference, pre-conference before the Dallas International Show. I will be part of one of the many awesome instructors they have teaching for the first Pool Nation conference. So please check that out, their website. And if you want to vote for Rob or any other of the awesome nominees for the Pool Nation Awards, go to poolnationawards.com. You do have to register in order to register your vote, but I encourage everyone to go to the poolnationawards.com and check all your nominees out. And I want to jump right in after I say thank you to Skimmer for being an awesome podcast sponsor for the past almost four years. So please check them out because they're awesome as well. They have tried to bring more than just their product with pool route management. They have the pool deck community. They're trying to have a good place to have conversations that are safe and also to educate. They're doing webinars. They're doing so much more than the pool route management that they started off as because they know the importance that we need to have to bring us all together in the industry. So I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been doing that. I want to jump right in, but listen in about Skimmer first, and then we'll jump right into this truly easy conversation me and Rob had about him, about his company, what he does in the industry is just a fun conversation. I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Skimmer is an app that's built for pool service companies and it really does everything they need to run their businesses. We have tens of thousands of techs using our app every day in the pools, in the field, and being able to just simply swipe left, swipe right, scroll up and down, take photos. Everything is so easy, it can be done with one hand. We know how hard our clients are working every day, and so we feel it's our responsibility to make sure we deliver a top-notch product and a support team that's capable of pleasing and satisfying our customers. You can literally pick up the phone and someone will answer. And that sounds very obvious, but it's not when you talk to tech companies. And it makes you feel like you have a voice and they listen and they actually respond to it. When I first started, we were just pen and paper, putting door tags on. We actually tried a bunch of different apps. There was, seemed to always be something missing. We ran across Skimmer and this one by far been the most efficient, the cleanest, the easiest to work with. I've looked into creating in-house ways of tracking and doing the same thing. It can be very costly. Skimmer allows you to have a customized experience because they listen to your feedback. It's like having a custom platform without the cost and labor involved in managing that. So I was very impressed with the affordability of Skimmer. The benefits that we get in terms of 
maximizing route efficiency and being able to keep a record of all the chemicals used and pictures of all the pools all in one spot and information we can access immediately. It's just incredible. The technician will do all these little click, click, clicks and say what they did and what the chemicals they put in. They'll take a picture of the pool and then Scammer does this great report that gets emailed to the customer at the end telling them what they did and how they did it, what chemicals they added, and customers absolutely love it. For as long as I'm in business, I don't see myself ever doing business without using Skimmer. It's just the top of the line product to use within the market and it just saves so much time while also being personalized to your company. Skimmer is a company that's going to keep your database and everything completely organized and in, in line for you. One of our goals is to help our clients grow their companies and we see every year, every day, we get feedback from our clients thanking us for allowing them to grow, allowing them to hire more folks, allowing them to make more money and put their kids through college, to have more time and more free time on the weekends. It's always a huge compliment when we hear our customers talk about how much they've been able to grow, how many folks they've been able to hire and employ thanks to the app. Welcome everybody today to the Let's Talk About Pools podcast. And my guest today on today's episode is Rob Stewart. He's a PHTA award-winning instructor. So I wanted to bring him in and he and I always see each other at conferences and we love uh, hanging out all the time. So I thought we'd have a nice fun little discussion about Rob and his awards that he's gotten recently. So tell us a little bit about you, Rob, and then we'll get into the awards after. Well, uh, basically, there's not much about me that people don't already know. Um, I'm an instructor for both PHTA and for the Pool Chemistry Training Institute. Um, I've been doing this for a few years now. Um, I'm being very, very welcome uh, in the industry as far as the teaching goes. Um, I have students all across uh, North America through the Caribbean. Um, I even had a course in Hong Kong, but I had to let that go because uh, wow. my travel plans changed. Um, but yeah, I, you know, uh, I love this teaching stuff because I'm at the point in my life where doing all the physical stuff, I just can't do it anymore. So I got to start using uh, my warehouse. Um, as far as the awards go, uh, it was a spectacular end to 2023, a fantastic start to 2024. Um, it started off with the Pleat Co. Uh, I was nominated. Uh, ironically, I was nominated by one of my reps uh, for my suppliers and also by uh, other pool companies in the Ottawa area, which completely blew my mind because everybody hates me uh, because I tell <laughs> the exciting. truth all the time. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it was a bit of a surprise when they told me, oh, yeah, no, this other pool company recommended you. It's like, oh, OK, cool. So, so I didn't end up getting... Tell us the process for that pool uh, tech search with Pleatco, because that was pretty involved. And I remember you telling me a little bit about it, but tell the listeners, like, how it's not something easy. It's it, extensive. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, it was kind of bizarre, because as I say, this came out of the blue. I just got an email one day saying, hey, listen, you're a finalist. And it's like, OK, uh, interesting. Um, and then as far as the process proper goes, um, it was just a matter of, uh, you know, they called up and they said, Hey, we want to do an interview. And, uh, you know, so I got on the line with them and we did uh, the interview. And of course they wanted to use something. I mean, I'm familiar with zoom cause I use that for my teaching. They wanted to use some other thing I'd never heard of. So I tried to download it and that didn't work with a, uh, hill of beans and then <laughs> they said oh well you know we're not just we're just going to do a, a voice uh interview and not a video interview and it's like yeah okay that kind of works uh so we did the voice interview they liked what uh i said um and essentially it kind of bumped me out of the tech of the year category and put me into uh the award that i actually won which is a lifetime achievement award so um my experience, I mean, I started off delivering water for uh, filling swimming pools uh, and that progressed into, you know, when they were running behind, I would jump in the hole and I would help them start to build the pools. And, you know, we we get stuff. Uh, I got experience that way. And um, it just progressed into taking every single course I could possibly find. And uh, that's that's what got me there. So 
Yeah, thank you, Plico. Uh, I appreciate the award and I plan on passing on as much information as I can as far as teaching goes. Um, What's the other then, award that you got recently from uh, the, the Canadian, other award right? was, yeah, it was uh, the Canadian Choice Award for Education. So the first award from Plico was actually for service technician stuff. And then the other one is actually for the education company. So yeah, we we won an award for education, uh, you know, and all we do is uh, swimming pool stuff. So that's what it's for. And uh, right now I'm actually up for two more awards. Again, one for my service company and uh, one for the education company in specialized trades. So yeah, you know, I'm I'm gonna have to start building a shelf or something. Well, and you got them up. You got two of the four up here. If you keep adding too many, it's going to cover your face on here on Zoom, you know. That's perfectly fine because I've been told more than once I've got the perfect face for radio. So if I can hide all of this, uh, we'll be we'll be we'll be winning. Um, and actually at the Plico Awards, that's what they said. You know, like they sent an email saying when you come to get your award, make sure that you're uh, photo ready. And it's like, hey, listen, this is all I've got to work with. So you guys are going to have to like buy a filter or something. <laughs> so, uh, Rocky yeah. is funny and sarcastic to self as he usually is. No, not at all. I'm not sarcastic. Not at all. That's what he always no. says. <laughs> no, never. We're having never. our fun right now. We promised everybody we we're going to have fun on this podcast episode. So, you know, every, every time I get to chat with you, I always have fun. I mean, your energy just kind of radiates out and it, it affects everybody so are you telling me it's I'm always infectious great. that sounds like i'm like a, a recreational water illness or something well i was going to say you're the one with the uh the bachelor of science there so i mean you tell me are you infectious your <laughs> I'm personality not, I'm is not that's all i'm saying i'm not crypto spiridium <laughs> this is true this is true no so, your your uh, personality and your demeanor is is infectious is what i'm getting at thank you rob so tell the audience a little bit about what you teach for education so that they and where they can find your educational courses that you teach because i know you teach virtual as well so let's let everybody know where you're at yeah so i'm located in ottawa ontario canada which is the capital of the country um and yes, I do a lot of in-person classes. If it's at all possible, I try and drive to my classes because when I do the in-person classes, I like to have the convenience of being able to bring all my little bits and baubles and toys and stuff like that. Um, I also do teach uh, the courses in a virtual format, just like most of the people, thanks to COVID. Yep. Um, and when I teach those, I, I try to keep my classes small so that I can concentrate on my, you know, what my students want to have, right? I, I got to make sure that I can see their voice uh, or their facial cues uh, to make sure that I'm not leaving anybody behind. Um, so as far as what do I teach? Uh, well, I teach uh, CPO. That's the one that I started off teaching. Uh, I also, uh, I'm allowed to teach CPI, uh, CMS. Uh, I went down to Las Vegas and I was uh, teaching the CST course there, which was a fantastic experience. Um, and then uh, I just got back from Atlantic City last month, one for the award ceremony for Plico, and two, I was teaching the um, Bob Lowry water chemistry, chemistry course. course. It's uh, owned by Hassan now. Yep. I'm aware of that. that. I'm supposed to be taking that one from you this coming year sometime. I will get to it. One of these At days. some point. The book is right here behind me. So I'm not lying either. Here, I'll show it to you. It is right here. I even got the chapter you said that I need to look at. But this is it. Yeah. Right? The entire That's book. That's the book. Yeah, I got book. it. It's right here. Next to other classes that I'm working on. Along with all my other craziness that I'm always doing. So I will, well, it's a good class. I want to take it really bad and add it to my accolades of things. And I want to take it with you specifically, Rob. Yeah, that, that makes me a bit nervous because I know you know a ton more than I know. So you're an award winning instructor. I got to take it from you. 
it makes no difference. Yes, you know, I know people, I know people with a ton of education that aren't worth a hill of beans. And I know people with only street level education that are the most brilliant people I've ever come across. Just because you're book educated doesn't mean you can translate it into the real world. I can, so. I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Well, is there anything else you want to tell them where they can find you online? So if they want to take some of your wonderful, awesome courses. Well, if you're looking for me online, um, it's Aquatic Facility Training Ottawa. It's just that simple. Uh, we are on Google, obviously. I mean, you can track us down that way. Um, we do have an office phone number, which is 613-800-2022. Um, like I say, uh, we're all over the place, so I'm, I'm not that hard to find. So you've got a service company and you also have a pool store, correct? I do. I'm actually, I'm sitting in the pool store right now. Don't really don't pay any attention it to the like Atlantic to, Ocean. Yeah, it looks like you're about to dive off of a cliff here or something, Rob. Well, actually, uh, this picture here was taken uh, when I was teaching at one of the resorts in St. Lucia. Uh, to, uh, let me see, I'm backwards. So to this side here, these are the Piton Mountains. Uh, and that's what St. Lucia is all about. They've got the two volcanic mountains. Um, so there's the big piton and the small piton. Uh, their local beer is piton beer. I mean, Ow. this this location is the place. You uh, like to teach be... there. You tell me about that class all the time when you teach there. I love going there. I mean, I go down to I go down to the resorts probably two or three times every winter uh, to do courses. Uh, the last one I did was uh, in September, I believe. I went down um, and I did uh, I did a course down there. Fantastic people, fantastic place, a little bit expensive, but eh, what can you do? Hey, you get to go to the islands and enjoy the the nice weather down there. And no, 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 it's work. I don't get to enjoy anything. It's it's painstaking. It's horrible. horrible oh, you, horrible. and you tell me that I don't enjoy anything when I go away to classes, and then you you're you don't do it. The same thing that you're touting to me. Yeah, no, this is 100% work though, Lauren. I mean, it's either it's either do this or dig a ditch. You know, uh, they both rank about the same. Work is work, you know. Um, oh, but you've got a passion for this, I can tell. So you you yeah. love the teaching and the education side, so. I, you know what? I do love the teaching. Um, and I was actually saying that the other night to, uh, to my sensei, uh, because we've got lots of kids. Uh, I also do karate. We have lots of kids in our dojo. And that's one of the most rewarding things is, like I say, passing this information on to the next people. I'm not going to be around forever. I got to get this stuff out. I've got to get the next batch of pool professionals up and I got to get them on the right path. Uh, because I've found for years and years and years, people have built a distrust uh, towards pool stores uh, because they just never get that information. So I need to make sure that I'm passing on the right information to people so that they can do the right thing. So this will be a little not school related, but you brought it up. You're 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 in karate. What what's your uh, belt level? Uh, I'm actually just I'm right on the verge of uh, doing my grading for my brown belt. So uh, right now I'm a blue belt, uh, and like I say, in a couple of months I'll be a brown belt. I've already got uh, all of my stuff set up you know i make the you know wrong foot movement here and there but that's all part of the learning process and you're so. in gojuru right goju ryu yeah so i completely i see your stuff all the time with the, the karate and it's like that's something we have in common there other than teaching you know pool education and that kind of thing it's weird you know and i'm french canadian and you live in canada there you go yeah, well, maybe the next, uh, maybe the next one we can do in French. <laughs> I don't know any French, so. <laughs> uh, well, my that makes it even better. Taught, my parents were bilingual and were French Canadian and spoke both languages, but it was lost on us. They never taught us, so I only know English and even Spanish. I can't teach Spanish anything. I know hola and gracias, and that's about it. Yeah, well, my Spanish is very sketchy, uh, as I said earlier. Um, it's pretty much only if I need beer or food. 
Um, <laughs> I have one Spanish joke, but when I say it, most people like they take it seriously. So uh, I've stopped using it because um, uh, when I was driving tractor trailer, I had hours and hours and hours of nothing to do. So I bought like the learn Spanish on CD. And about the only thing that I retained from that is uh, soy trabajadora. Uh, all right that, so do i want to well, know what, what that means okay so this is this is where the joke is okay because that means i'm a hard-working woman right and that's what i'm saying like this is the extent of my learning as far as spanish goes so when i say that to somebody who speaks spanish it's like no 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 no. it's supposed to be soy trabajador and it's like yeah i know that that's what that's the joke <laughs> right it's like whoosh, right over top it's, it's like okay it's always those jokes went wrong anytime we talk it's funny. i think my biggest problem is that i can keep a straight face uh when your i your voice I'm sounds like things. you keep a straight voice too and that even on the phone it's like i i never get get the jokes they go right over my head yeah i'm a very 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 dry sense of humor so <laughs> Yeah, it's not, well, not a good thing for a water guy. Well, it's been wonderful talking with you on the podcast today. And I can't wait because this will be a shorter episode for people who listen to it. And I think they're just going to laugh and have a good time with it. It's not a long episode. It's it's going to be one of the, our shorter ones. But I think getting to know people in the industry, if they've seen you on social media, now they kind of get to hear you a little bit more in that personable way that you, you can't really do when you type stuff in a Facebook group and there's some interesting oh, Facebook stuff. groups. I, I know you're in all a of lot of stuff groups. gets lost when you're typing it. Yep. And you're in all the interesting Facebook groups that are interesting. So I got to say, I, I am in no Facebook groups. Yes. Well, you, maybe no, maybe you one. Are. you're in one. That well, new I'm one. in one. You're in that yeah, new yeah, one. I'm in that new one. Yeah. The 69 yeah, script. Yep whatever it is <laughs> but that's about it as Our far as industry go. has a lot of fun don't they they come up with these groups and stuff and it's like you just can't take in anything personal well you gotta have fun i mean like these guys go out they're in the trenches they're plugging away and it's a high stress environment and a lot of people don't realize that right when you walk into somebody's backyard <clears throat> that customer is stressed out beyond belief however the um the technician is also stressed because their performance is going to dictate how you look at them in the future so there's a lot of stress as far as the pool guys go so yeah they're working hard they got to be able to play hard it's as simple as that i i totally agree with you so it's like i i, I they'll always invite me i actually got invited by uh i think it was sean davis invited me to that group and I guess he didn't think I was going to feel offended or anything. And I don't. It's it's fun. It, it's like the people who get kicked out of the other groups get into, you know, this group. And there's groups I've been kicked out of and brought back like nine times. It's just it's weird. You know, our industry is a lot of fun and you just have to go with the flow. Right. One hundred percent. Yeah. If If you don't like what you're seeing, just move on. Well, it's been wonderful chatting with you today. This has felt like a conversation with Rob, and it's been wonderful. And congratulations wholeheartedly to the awards that you've attained already. Well, thank you so much, Rob, for being on today, and you have a wonderful day, and good luck. Well, thank you for inviting me. It's been fantastic, a lot of fun, uh, even as simple as it was. It was a lot of fun, and uh, I'm available if you uh, ever want to do an actual let's talk about pools podcast yes i know let's, a thing or two yeah we'll schedule it we'll schedule it we're gonna have you back on rob you're anytime a, at all you're my be pleasure a fan favorite fan favorite hopefully we'll see thanks right. again lauren no problem thanks for diving in today with the let's talk about pools podcast be sure to follow us on our YouTube channel or our Facebook page. And feel free to rate, subscribe, and leave a review wherever you listen to your podcast so more aquatic professionals like you can learn about the show. We appreciate it, and we'll catch you in the next episode of the Let's Talk About Pools podcast.